In this video, I'll teach you how to create a weekend work only calendar. As a part of setting up an accurate project schedule, you may need to create custom calendars for unique work schedules. For example, you might need a calendar to set up work that only occurs on a weekend. It can occur on a Saturday and or Sunday, but not Monday through Friday. So let's get started. To create a custom calendar in your project, once again, click the Change Working Time button in the Project ribbon. In the upper right corner of the Change Working Time dialog, click the Create New Calendar button. In the Create New Base Calendar dialog, select the option Create New Base Calendar and then replace the default text with the name of your calendar. I'll call this calendar Weekend Work. Click the OK button when done and Microsoft Project will now select that new custom calendar. At this point, I need to set up the working schedule for the custom calendar. To do this, click the Work Weeks tab and then leave the default item selected in the Work Weeks data grid. Click the Details button. In the Details dialog, this is where to set up the custom working schedule. In my case, I need to select Sunday and Saturday and then make them working days. To do this, I'll select the third option, set days to these specific working times. And in the data grid, I'll put in the working schedule. That's 8 o'clock a.m. to 12 p.m. and 1 p.m to 5 p.m. The other days, Monday through Friday, need to be set to non-working time. So I'll select those days and choose the second option, set days to non-working time. Click the OK button and Microsoft Project will display the working schedule for this custom calendar in the calendar grid at the top. Notice that every Saturday and Sunday are set to 8 to 12, 1 to 5. Notice that every weekday is set as non-working time. When you finish creating your custom calendars in your project, click the OK button. Gee, I sure hope this video has been helpful to you. If it has been, please consider subscribing to this channel. Please watch the next video so that you can see how to make your standard and custom calendars available in every project you manage from this point going forward. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.